In this video I'm going to go through two types of equations which involves inverse hyperbolic functions. So I'm going to go through two, type, two kinds of equations involving inverse hyperbolic functions and I'm going to show you um, methods in order to solve them. Okay, So let me call this solving um, equations. involving inverse hyperbolic functions so let's underline that so let me call this equation uh, so or the case type number one okay so in the type 1 case, supposing if you have an equation of this type, so hyperbolic cos inverse, let's say ax equals hyperbolic sine inverse bx. So uh, a and b are values, okay, so they're constants, okay. Let me show you how to solve an equation of this type. So this equation involves the inverse hyperbolic functions hyperbolic cos inverse and hyperbolic sine inverse only. So if your equation contains a hyperbolic cos inverse and a hyperbolic sine inverse function only and is of this arrangement, so remember A and B are constants. So the idea is we're going to be using a hyperbolic identity. Okay, so use the hyperbolic identity and the identity that we're going to be using for this type of equation is hyperbolic cos squared x minus hyperbolic sine squared x is equal to 1. So this is the identity that you'll be using in order to solve an equation of this type. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll go through the reasoning um, in terms of why we use this identity soon. Um, when we go through the methods, okay, so let me take an example of um, an equation of this type and let me show you the method uh, used to solve this. So, question is to solve, and we're going to be solving. So, let me call this part A hyperbolic sine inverse 4x is equal to hyperbolic cos inverse. 5x okay so in this case here's the method step number one is we let y is equal to the left hand term and let y equal the right hand term okay so you let y equal the left hand term hyperbolic sine inverse 4x and you let y equal the right hand term which is hyperbolic cos inverse 5x okay so that's step number one now step number two is rewrite both equations so what I mean by that is if y equals the inverse hyperbolic sine 4x I could write that as 4x is equal to hyperbolic sine y and I'm going to call that equation one and using the same idea if y equals the inverse hyperbolic cos of 5x, that could be rewritten as 5x is equal to hyperbolic cos y. So I'll call that equation two, okay? So that is step two, rewriting your equations. Now, why do we use this identity? So this step is going to explain this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of the terms involving y. So I'm going to get rid of the hyperbolic sine y and the hyperbolic cos y. And in order to do that, you might have you might be guessing this. Um, I'm going to square both equations. So that's going to be my next step. So I'm going to square both equations and then I'm going to subtract. Okay, and by subtracting we'll be using this identity to get to getting rid of those y terms okay so 
step number three by squaring uh, equations one and two okay on both sides so looking at equation one if I square on both sides 4x squared is 16x squared that's equal to hyperbolic sine squared y so I'll call that equation 3 and if I do the same with equation 2 5x squared is 25x squared that's equal to hyperbolic cos squared y let's call that equation 4 okay so step number 3 square your equations on both sides now in the next step let's apply this identity let's calculate equation 4 minus equation 3 okay so equation 4 minus equation 3 okay we're doing this in the, in the order 4 minus 3 because remember cos squared minus sine squared equates to 1 so on the left hand side 4 minus 3 25 x squared minus 16 x squared is of course 9x squared that is equal to hyperbolic cos squared y minus hyperbolic sine squared y which of course is 1 according to the identity so we have 9x squared is equal to 1 to solve and x squared is 1 over 9 which means that x is equal to plus or minus 1 over 3 okay so it's plus or minus the square root of 1 over 9 which is plus or minus 1 over 3 okay so there you have it so these are the steps used to solve an equation of this type hyperbolic cos inverse ax equals hyperbolic sine inverse bx where a and b are constants okay so I think it's time for another example so Let's continue on the reverse. So here's a part B. So there was part A. So in part B, let's solve in the same way hyperbolic sine inverse 12x is equal to hyperbolic cos inverse 13x. Okay. So let's go through the same steps. So in step number one, let y equal the left as well as the right hand side. So let's apply that step. Step number one, let y equal hyperbolic sine inverse 12x and y equal hyperbolic cos inverse 13x. So that takes us to step two, okay? And remember, if we go back, step number two is to rewrite your equations okay so let's rewrite those equations so in our example here when I rewrite these two equations the first one will be 12x equals hyperbolic sine y I'll call that equation 1 this second equation here when I rewrite will be 13x equals hyperbolic cos y let me call that equation 2 so that completes step two. So remember in the last example, step three is to square. So we square first and then we do the subtraction later. Okay, so if we square, so by squaring equations one and two on both sides so if I square equation 1 on both sides 12x squared will be 144x squared when I square that's equal to on the right when I square hyperbolic sine squared y I'll call that equation 3 okay and if I square equation 2 on both sides 13x squared is 169x squared that's equal to on the right when I square hyperbolic cos squared y that takes 
that let's call that equation four rather <coughs> so that's ex exactly what I did in in the last example so first I square so squaring <coughs> squaring equation uh, step number three and in step number four remember we subtract and we subtract in the order cos squared minus sine squared okay so let's subtract these two equations so in step number four let's calculate equation four so it's the cos squared minus equation three the sine squared equation okay so on the left hand side four minus three so one six nine x squared minus one four four x squared equates to 25 x squared and that is equal to hyperbolic cos squared y minus hyperbolic sine squared y and remember hyperbolic cos squared minus hyperbolic sine squared is 1 so we have as a result 25x squared is equal to 1 x squared is 1 over 25 x therefore if I take a square root on both sides plus or minus root 1 over 25 which is plus or minus so I can hope, I hope you can see that plus or minus root uh, plus or minus 1 over 5 rather so if you take a root of 1 over 25 of course it's 1 over 5 okay and there's two values remember a positive and a negative value of x so here are the steps again in order to solve an equation of this type okay so here are the steps and um, that completes this video so I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next video thank you